I already wanted to trade as well. Come back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be looking at something that is definitely going to change the way you see charts, guys. It's definitely going to increase your trading skills and probably increase the win rate of your trading strategy, guys. So you might want to watch till the end of this video without wasting any of your time. Let us get on with it, right? So now, if you can look at this i want us to just look at this guys right and then someone would throw a trend line maybe let us just say here okay someone would throw a trend line there and then when that person throws a trend line there we would have a first touch a second touch and then you can clearly see that there was a third touch right there and then we did have our bullish and golfing candlestick pattern also on our four hour time frame but look at what then happened. Bam. Price would have hit your stop loss. Why? Because you put your stop loss where? At the beginning of that uh, uh, bullish and graphic candlestick pattern. So now, why would price have taken you out? Why would price, um, uh, why did price even hit your stop loss in this first place? There's this thing, guys, whereby you get a bearish trend and a bullish trend at the same time. Okay, so that's just going to confuse you by giving you false signals. Let me just show you what I, what I mean. So, this obviously is a what? There is a bullish trend on my four-hour time frame. Okay, and if we can just somehow closely look here, we can also see that also here we do have what? Lower low, lower high, lower low. And price is seeming like it is wanting to form a new what a new lower high because there is also that flip zone right there. But now let us not get into that, right? So now price is moving in a sort of what lower lows, lower highs, lower low. So there is a bearish trend in play. At the same time, there is a bullish trend in play whereby we have ourselves a what? A higher high, right? Higher low higher high and price is looking like it is also wanting to form a new what a new higher low right there and then move to the upper so now this is going to confuse your trading signals stick with me guys because i have a, 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 i'm going to be giving you guys something that is going to filter out this confusion and something that is going to make you take correct trading signals right so that is when people come out and say trend lines do not work candlestick patterns to not work because of this thing right so you have yourself a bearish trend and also you have yourself a bullish trend so now you need to make sure that the structure that you are trading consists of only one trade uh, of only one trend and not only one trend but there are some things that you have to look for which i'm going to also expose in this video okay guys all right so now what is the right way to approach this kind of market structure? What is the right way to approach this kind of market structure? So now, in order for you to be do, do, to, to, to be almost guaranteed that what you are doing is safe, you have to trade a trend within a trend. Meaning now that you have to trade a bearish trend within a bearish trend. Because you can clearly see here that we, we had ourselves a bullish trend within a bearish trend, right? But right now, if you want to sell, you have to trade yourself. You, you have to trade a bearish trend within a what? Within a bearish trend. For instance, guys, this is a bearish trend. I'm also on my four-hour time frame. This is a bearish trend. Okay. That is a bearish trend. Okay. And now it will make sense for me to now trade what? This bearish trend. Because you can clearly see now that price has started to form a bearish trend where inside of this bearish trend, we now have our small bearish trend right there. Inside of what? Inside of this big bearish trend. <laughs> but, but, but chill, 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 okay? So now, this bearish trend mustn't just form in the middle of nowhere. You mustn't be like, okay, I'm th that's a bearish trend. I'm then going to somehow trade it. So now what happens is price has to give you your third touch of your resistance, right? As you guys can see, first touch, second touch, and then there is our third touch here. 
there is our third touch right there. And now that is when you can now start to, 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 to trade the trend within the trend. Meaning now that, okay, sharp, you can clearly see that price reached, it gave you a third touch on your register and then it started to move and it started to so what? Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and then price came to your what? Came to your flip zone and then you do what there? And then you sell, right? Price came to what? Price came to your flip zone and then you do what right there? And then you sell. Okay? For those that might not understand what I'm un un unpacking, listen, look at this. This is what I'm basically saying to you. Okay? This is what I'm basically saying to you guys. Let me just find the appropriate one. There you go. So you can clearly see here, first touch, second touch, and then we have ourselves a third touch, right? And then on the third touch, that is when you can now start to do what? You can now start to trade this bearish trend. This bearish trend is, is now going to have a, 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 a high wind red white because it is from a third touch of your resistance. So now you can clearly see what happened. Lower low, lower high, lower low, and then price came to your flip zone, and then you do what? And then you sell right there. So you need the market to be bearish. So this bearish trend formed within a what? Formed within this bearish trend. Formed within what? Formed within this bearish trend right there. Okay? And not only did it form within that bearish trend, but it started forming at the third touch of your resistance. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys understand me. It started forming at the third touch of your resistance, and we already know that if price is on your resistance, then chances are it is going to move to the downward. Okay? So that's literally one of the most mistakes that people do, and then they come out and say price action doesn't work. Price action works. You just have to familiarize yourself with the chart. You have to make sure that the structure, if you want to sell, make sure that the overall market is bearish and, tra and trade a trend within a trend. Okay? So now, this was a bearish trend that you would have taken a, a, a advantage. Why? Because it was within that huge bearish trend. Okay? You would have had at least two entries here. Flip zone. Flip zone. Okay? And now, this is also a new bearish trend that has formed because it is where? Because it is in that large bearish trend. But do not forget that it has to be where? on your resistance okay so that's it guys for this video i hope you did find well and don't forget that if you want my full strategy strategy for free you can just simply go to my telegram group the link will be in this video's description guys see you on the next one goodbye